Robert Polson, and this video is for Psychology 1100 Lifespan Development at Utah Valley University. In this video, we're looking at the second online quiz for Chapter 9, which is on late adulthood. The first question in this quiz is, with the right genes and environment, and with the good fortune to avoid serious injuries and illnesses, people have a maximum lifespan of about how many years? The choices are 100, 110, 115, or 120. Well, um, if you're perfectly constructed and nothing bad happens, the correct answer is about 115. That appears to be the maximum that humans are physically capable of living, uh, at least at this point. Second question is this. Ramiro gets a distressing call from his 80-year-old mother, Adriana. She is upset about a recent diagnosis of glaucoma. What does this mean? So what is glaucoma? The photoreceptors in her retina are degenerating. There is a buildup of fluid pressure inside her eyeball. There is a hardening of the lens of her eye, and there is a clouding of the lens of her eye. Well, I have to tell you, I would have gotten this one wrong because I forgot uh, to check things up. I would have said a clouding of the lens in the eye. No, a glaucoma is actually a buildup of fluid pressure inside the eyeball. There's a couple different versions of this. Um, now there are, it is possible that glaucoma can lead to a clouding of the lens of the eye, but there's about, you know, 10 or 15 other things that also lead to that particular symptom. Glaucoma is a different thing. It needs to be checked on regularly because some of the versions of glaucoma uh, cannot be detected until they're much, much too late uh, to be helped. So get your eye exams. Number three, sleep apnea may be more than a sleep problem. For reasons that are not entirely clear, it is linked to increased risk of what? Cancer and strokes? cancer and diabetes, heart attacks and strokes, or heart attacks and diabetes? It's our mix and match question. Well, sleep apnea, which is uh, that a person stops breathing briefly during the night and they uh, start, um, and consequently, they wake up a lot during the night, though may not even be aware of it. Uh, an increased risk of heart attacks and strokes. So uh, sleep apnea can be treated Sometimes simply something like losing weight can uh, do uh, fix it, or more often something like a machine like a CPAP that helps a person breathe without uh, having the, the stopping can also help with uh, sleep apnea. Number four, many of the physical changes in older women stem from a decline in what production? Progesterone, estrogen, luteinizing hormone, or follicle-stimulating hormone? Well, you know, the hormone production changes in a lot of different ways, but the one in particular that we're looking at here that seems to have the widest effect is estrogen. There's a, uh, there's a significant decline in estrogen production. It seems to uh, produce a lot of the effects that happen with old age, particularly in women. So number five, what is the change in the reproductive system of older women? Well, there's a lot. Um, but anyhow, choices here are dilated vaginal opening, a thickened vaginal wall, a loss of ability to orgasm, or delayed vaginal lubrication. Well, um, lots of things could happen, but the one that we're looking at right here is actually D, delayed vaginal lubrication. That's an important one because it doesn't say that it doesn't happen. Certainly, I want to say the loss of ability to orgasm is not a common uh, change. Um, delayed vaginal lubrication simply means that things take longer to get ready. So sex is still a possibility. Um, number six. Dr. Basso investigates the role of environmental toxins on aging. She discovers that several common food preservatives accelerate the aging process. Dr. Basso proposes a new model of aging that fits within the blank. Please note, this is a hypothetical question, um, although there are studies that may find this. The, uh, so if preservatives are accelerating aging, that would be consistent with what theory? Exogenous theories of aging, cellular damage theories of aging, uh, heterologous theories of aging or programmed theories of aging? Well, the food preservatives would go in with the B, cellular damage theories of aging, that you have a toxin of some kind that comes in and actually causes problems, makes it difficult for these cells to reproduce correctly. There is damage, and that's why people's, uh, why they get old and die. Which theory of aging that suggests that over time our bodies become less capable of repairing themselves? Choices are restoration limitation theory, the maximum capacity theory, the wear and tear theory, or the finite use theory. Well, uh, actually, the answer here is the one with the easiest words. It's the wear and tear theory. That things simply wear out over time and the body's not able to compensate for the damage. Number eight. 
Which hormone is thought to play a crucial role in increasing lifespan following caloric restriction? This is my pronunciation quiz. Uh, cholecystokinin? Cholecystokinin? Sure, why not? B, glucose-dependent ins insulinotropic polypeptide? Dehydroepiandrostosterone sulfate or something like that, an antidiuretic hormone. Well, despite my pronunciation difficulties, uh, the correct answer here is C, with dehydroepiandrostosterone sulfate. So, um, on the other hand, I should mention, I've, I've read that the studies that say that the increased lifespan uh, following caloric restriction is not necessarily the way that people didn't work really the way that people thought it did. And so before you start starving yourself to live longer, you're going to want to go double check the research on that one. Question number nine, a quarter of a million older adults are hospitalized each year because of adverse drug reactions. What is a common reason for this? Intentional overdose, caretaker negligence, too high of a prescribed dosage, and misappropriation of drugs. Now, obviously all of these can and do occur, but the one that it seems seems to be the most common is actually, see, it's too high of a prescribed dosage. So it's not even that they're misreading or uh, not taking right assist. They were in they were actually given us too much. They're, they're following instructions. And they end up with an overdose. So you might want to get a second opinion. Last question on this quiz. According to a British study, the key motives for leisure activity during retirement were reaching a state of enlightenment and self actualization reconnecting with loved ones and friends, mental stimulation and challenge, or pleasure and relaxation. Well, I hate to put it, uh, you know, here, but once again, it's it's the easy answer is the correct one here. Why do people do leisure activities? Because it's fun, because of pleasure and relaxation, even in old age. So anyhow, these are the things to keep in mind, and that is the end of the second online quiz for Chapter 9, Late Adulthood for Psychology 1100 Lifespan Development. Thanks for watching.